today's video i am going to solve a problem from functions of complex variables now in this video i am going to prove that the function v satisfies the laplace equations and I, again i am going to determine the lldic function as u plus iv see here what is given v is given so v is given as sin x cos hy plus this is 2 cos x sin hy plus this is x square minus y square plus 4xy. Now I have to differentiate with respect to x for one time and y for one time. See here, differentiate with respect to x. Sin, for sin x, this is cos x. And again, this is cos hy. And see, for cos x, this is minus sin x. This is a sin hy. And for x, this is 2x and for x this is 1 what remains 4x remains and again i have to make a double derivative with respect to x so with respect to x double derivative for cos x this is minus sin x cos h y is as usual and again x here for sin x this is cos x sin h y and again this is x1 this will be 2 and y will be 0 and again, see here, V with respect to Y. So, this is the imaginary part. And now, I am going to differentiate with respect to Y. So, for cos Y, this is a sin Y. For cos HY, this is sin HY. And again, with respect to Y, sin HY, I have to write cos HY. This is cos X. And this is cos HY. And with respect to y, x will be 0 and y square. So, this is 2y and again y1. So, what remains here? 4x remains. And see, now I have to make a double derivative with respect to y. So, this is double derivative with respect to y. See, for this equation, again I have to make a derivative with respect to y. For sin hx, this will be cos hx. This is sin x and this is cos hy and this is for cos hy this will be sin this will be sin hy and again with respect to y this is 2 and this will be 0 and now i have to prove the laplacian equations so i have to prove that v satisfies laplacian equations what is laplace equations what is laplace equation if v is given so, this will be dou square v by dou x square plus dou square v by this is dou y square should be equal to 0. So, this is Laplace equation. So, which is nothing but v x x plus v y y should be equal to 0. Now, I will check what is v dou square v by dou x square is nothing but v x x. I have to write the whole thing. So, this will be minus sin x into cos h y into cos hy minus this is cos x sin hy plus 2 and y y it is nothing but see it is a continuation part here this is plus sin x cos hy plus 2 this is cos x sin hy minus 2 now see here i can easily cancel all these so if i cancel this is this is plus and this is minus all the values are cancelled and the value here is 0. So, I got a 0 value. Therefore, dou square v by dou x square plus dou square v by dou y square is equal to 0. Therefore, v satisfies the Laplace equation. v satisfies the Laplace equation. So, first of all, it is asked to prove that the function satisfies the Laplace equation. And again, we have to determine the analytic function. See, for finding the analytic function, I am using Milne's Thompson method. So, according to the Milne's Thompson method, I will show you. According to the Milne's Thompson method, according to the Milne's Thompson method, so the process here will be f of z is equal to as you know this is u plus iv if i make a derivative with respect to x this will be dou u by 2x plus i times of this is dou v by 2x see 
I have only V values. I don't have this dou u by dou x. So I'm using CR equations according to the CR equations and Cauchy Riemann equations. According to the Cauchy Riemann equations, we have dou u by dou x is equal to dou v by dou y. And again, dou u by dou y is equal to this is minus dou v by dou x. So these are the CR equations. Now I have to use the CR equations in place of dou u by dou x. In place of dou u by dou x, I am writing dou v by dou y. So f dash of z. So f dash of z is equal to this is dou v by dou y plus i times of this is dou v by dou x. Now I have both the values ready. See here, what is dou v by dou y? Dou v by dou y value is this one. So this one. So I have to write all this value. So f dash of z is equal to f dash of z is equal to what is dou v by dou y this is sin x sin h y see here this is sin x sin h y plus 2 cos x cos h y this is 2 cos x cos h y minus 2 y this is minus 2 y plus 4 x this is 4 x plus see here plus i times of dou v by dou x so this is dou v by dou x so the dou v by dou x value is also very clear cos x cos h y this is cos x cos h y minus 2 sin x sin h y plus 2 x plus 4 y see here plus 2 x plus 4 y now according to the millis thompson method we have to replace see here now replace x by z and y with 0 or y by 0 so f dash of z value will be see here f dash of z value will be in place of x as z that is sin z and this is sin 0 so this value is 0 plus 2 times of this is cos z and this value is cos 0 1 this is y 0 and this is 4 z plus i times of so in place of x i have to write z and this value is cos 0 minus 2 times of sin 0 value is 0 and this is uh, 2z and this value is again 0. See what remains here. So f dash of z is equal to 0 into anything 0 and this is 2 cos z cos 0 is 1 plus 4z plus i times of this is cos z and this value is 2z so this is 0 and this is 0 so this value remains and now i'm going to integrate on both sides see here if i integrate so f dash of z is equal to this is 2 cos z plus 4z plus i times of this is uh, cos z plus 2z now if i integrate on both sides so integral dz and this is also integral dz and now what happens integration and derivative got cancelled and f of z is equal to for cos x this is minus sin z and this is 4 this value will be z square by 2 and this is i times of for cos z this is a sin z plus 2 times of this is z square by 2 and now I can cancel this for two times and this for one time. Therefore, f of z value will be this is 2 sin z plus 2z square 2z square plus i times of this is z square plus sin z. This value is z square plus sin z. Therefore, we got the analytic function f of z in the form of u plus iv as this is 2 sin z plus 2z square plus i times of this is z square plus this is sin z. So we got the analytic function in the form of u plus iv. So this is how we have to solve and this is so simple if you follow these steps. First the v imaginary part is given. I made a derivative with respect to x and made another derivative with respect to x and v with respect to y and v double derivative with respect to y so all the four are ready with us and now i have to prove that it satisfies the laplace equation so laplace equation is nothing but dou square v by dou x square plus dou square v by dou y square is equal to zero is the laplace equation and let's check that v x x plus v y y so v x x value is ready here and v y y value is also ready so 
all got cancelled and I got zero value and we say that we satisfy the Laplace equation and for finding the analytic function I have to use Milne's Thompson method and f of z is equal to u plus iv if I make a derivative with respect to x throughout the equation and I have only v imaginary part is only given so real part is replaced by the imaginary part using CR equations so in place of dou u by dou x I wrote dou v by dou y so I have two values ready here that is vy is ready and vx is ready so i have substituted these two values and i replaced x by z and y by 0 and after substituting this is rf of z and if i integrate on both sides with respect to z i got the analytic function which is in the form of u plus iv and thank you so much for watching so if you don't understand this video please go through this video for one more time and definitely you can understand and please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to this channel and if you really like you know please raise your thumb